Yo, what's poppin'? This is day three of the 18 days with an R18 coast to coast ride for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation ride for kids. I am riding coast to coast, raising funds and spreading awareness for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Did you know that 13 children and teen in, uh, teens in the US are diagnosed with the deadliest form of cancer, which is, which is pediatric brain tumor every single day in the United States. And the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation helps these kids and their families, not just with the treatment and the treatment costs and the support needed, connecting them with peer groups and other uh, families who've gone through the same, but they also fund uh, research into, into curing uh, the pediatric brain tumor once and for all. So my ride is for them, for the kids for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation because I want to cancel childhood cancer. This is day three of my ride from North, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina to Santa Monica, California and back. Last night, we st I stopped at Forest City in Arkansas. I traveled all through Tennessee into Arkansas yesterday. Today, we are gonna, I'm gonna ride through Arkansas, the Pig Trail Highway, then hopefully ride into Oklahoma. Bike for the ride is this. It's a 2022 BMW R18 transcontinental it's got the tour packs the saddlebags the six speakers cruise adaptive cruise control and oh a 10.25 inch uh, infotainment screen it also has a little compartment here where you can put your phone charge it it's got a little fan that keeps it cool this motorcycle was provided to me by the amazing people at bmw motorrad usa and the bmw performance center all of the gear was provided by Motorcycles of Greensboro. Andrew, a huge shout out to you, man. A huge shout out to our friends at Motorcyclist Map, which is built by motorcyclists for motorcyclists. You can find cool spots, cool routes, filtered by states, bridges, abandoned prisons have been added. It keeps growing, it's so cool. Uh, and our friends at Lunar Lens who take these amazing pictures and help me edit all these pictures. Uh, I know nothing about pixology or photography, but they do. And they not just motorcycles and cars, they do portraits and a bunch of other stuff. And, and last but not the least is Fusion 9. It's the newest, hottest Indo-Chinese restaurant in the North Carolina Resource Triangle Park RTP area. Check them out for craft beer, awesome liquor, awesome food, and an awesome ambiance. And if you like what we do here at Broman and this series that I'm doing, uh, instead of liking and subscribing, Click the link in the bio and go help out the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation by donating whatever you can. 100% of the donations go to the foundation. You're gonna help them help the kids who are fighting the biggest battle of their lives. stumbled upon the pig trail scenic byway yes sir it's a scenic byway from Ozark all the way up to Eureka Springs that's what the head that's the route we are headed pig trail scenic byway riding let's go relative right like if if anyone was on a sports bike or a sport tour bike man you could you could kill these curves uh, but the fun is that this big heavy gigantor of a motorcycle uh, yeah it does <laughs> quite well <laughs> They're so amazing. And 
And when I did my research online, they said like, you know, this is better than the Tale of the Dragon and your Blue Ridge Parkway. I combined them all together, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whatever, man. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, I'm here and I think it's highly overrated. Or then again, is it? Check out the view. That's the view, the beautiful hills and mountains. Mm, 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 mm. And the roads are amazing. The roads are simply amazing. Nice curves, nice uh, hairpin bends, going up, coming down, all of that, dips and inclines. Oof, it's amazing. And so I'm on this big girl. Uh, I'm on the R18 Transcontinental, provided to me by BMW Motorrad USA. The floorboard that's, you know, uh, in the middle instead of being up there and, the, and all of that makes complete sense this is <laughs> very nimble for something of its size the brakes are freaking amazing i was doing the two finger sports bike braking the entire way and it's freaking amazing both the brakes the handling and remember i was saying uh about the boxer engine uh not having quite the v-twin chugga 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 and that character and whatnot on these roads, when you're in second and third and going up or around corners and going up, character, child, please, it's got plenty of it. <laughs> Take it to like a nice curvy road and you'll see what's up. That was the biggest surprise for me. The biggest surprise, hands down. The Pig Trail Scenic Byway does not have a lot of uh, scenic overlooks like we have on our uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. Every now and then you get to see this. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> That's the road, all curvy. <laughs> Forgot my gloves. <laughs> Forgot to wear my gloves. Luckily, they didn't fly off either, so... <laughs> I'm on the way from Eureka Springs to Bentonville, Arkansas. I came across something that says inspiration point. Be inspired. Amazing. <laughs> Be inspired y'all. Be inspired. I'm in downtown Bentonville, Arkansas. Check that out. The Walmart Museum, that's the first 510 Walton store uh, that later became Walmart. But that's the first store, uh, Walton's 510. There's a Walmart Museum and everything. Uh, however, they close at six and I'm here at eight. So, no bueno. But it's not a complete loss. That's the downtown park, There's they have a live band. 
and this place looks pretty cool but we still have ways to go um, so yeah I'll get right back on my horse and we'll ride because <laughs> it's right o'clock it's always right o'clock ending the day at Catoosa Oklahoma uh, started the day from Forest City Arkansas rode through to Ozark Arkansas up to Eureka Springs Arkansas to Bentonville and then cut across into Oklahoma Catoosa uh, 445 miles ridden today including the Pig Trail Highway and that road from Eureka Springs to Bentonville oh full of twisties um, a lot of fun got to learn something new about the bike today uh, it really loves the twisties uh, you don't feel its weight the 945 pound uh, curb weight you don't feel it in the twisties it's so much fun in the twisties especially if you leave it in third gear second and third and the bike comes alive above 3500 rpm a lot of fun a lot of fun uh, day three was the most fun day uh, got to see some really scenic parts of Arkansas some really gorgeous parts of Arkansas and the temperature started from like 90s went up to the 100s but then it started dropping into the 80s and right now it's 74 so it's been a beautiful evening for riding I think droning on the highways is not a lot of fun but this bike really really comes to life when you show it some curves yeah <laughs> uh, so that concludes day three 445 miles I think I've covered a total of 1290 miles over three days keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you soon bro out